Okay. What I'm pointing out to you today is we're doing a great demonstration. As I mentioned, Kent State's been doing this for a number of years, as have schools across the country, to demonstrate the power with which fire spreads. What you're seeing here is actually not a typical student room, as it turns out. The students have been coming by and telling me, this is too neat. This is too clean. This is too organized. But really, what we have set it up is, you know, the, the, the fuel loads you see in there are what you will find in a typical room, either on campus or off campus. And I know that here in Kent State, for example, they don't allow tapestries on ceilings. But often in an off-campus occupancy, you will see that. And you'll see here today that it is a significant hazard. We do have smoke alarms in each of the rooms. We do have smoke alarms in each of the rooms that you'll hear go off. The room on this side is equipped with an automatic fire sprinkler system. And you look on the wall here, you can just see that it's sticking out there. It's the orange pipe here coming in the side that right now is being supplied with water from the fire truck. This side is on sprinkler. Right. So what we're going to see here today is how quickly a fire can grow and spread and how quickly it will be controlled by the activation of a sprinkler system. So with that, if we're going to light off the fire inside. It's a typical type of fire that starts in a wastebasket down in a corner. And you'll see how fast it can spread. We've had activation of the sprinkler system in 10 seconds. And you can see how quickly it has controlled that fire. is continuing to grow on the other side, growing in intensity, spreading through that room. The sprinkler system has controlled it, but you can see now how quickly and how fast that fire is spreading within minutes, within less than minutes. Look at the damage that it's creating in that room from just the ordinary combustibles that we see. The things that are typically in any student's room. Look at how it's growing out of control. And this is happening before any fire department in this country can get to the building. Thank you. Fire department is going in there and controlling that fire, but there's really no way a fire department can be on the scene this quickly and put out that fire. So that's why we rely on technology such as smoke alarms and the importance of interconnected smoke alarms. You may have heard them going off in, your car, in the crowd here. We're using wireless technology. There's two people out in the crowd that have smoke alarms with them that were activated when the ones inside went off.